Python. Python is one of the most widely used programming languages in the world. Python can be used for web development, data analysis, machine learning, automation, and more. Think of Python as the Swiss army knife of programming. It's versatile and powerful. Python has a massive and supportive community of developers. With numerous resources available, you're never alone when coding in Python. Python can run on multiple operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Python is completely free and open source, which means you can use it without any licensing fees or restrictions. It's known as the beginner's language because of its simple syntax and readability. Python developed by Guido Van Rossum in the 1990s. Ruby. Ruby is all about making programming fun and easy. It's designed to be intuitive and flexible, which is why it's loved for web development. The popular framework Ruby on Rails is built on Ruby, making it a go-to for building websites quickly. My friend Sarah used Ruby for her first big project, and she swears by how it simplifies complex tasks. If you've already dabbled in Python, you'll find Ruby's syntax quite familiar and friendly. Ruby is a dynamic and flexible language that's easy to learn and fun to code. Ruby is a very high-level, multi-purpose programming language, first released in 1995. With Ruby, you can build anything you can imagine, from web applications to system scripts and more. Siang CIs is a versatile language developed by Microsoft. It's used for a wide range of applications, from web and mobile apps to game development using the Unity engine. If you're developing on Windows, CIs is a great choice. When I started learning game development, CIs quickly became one of my favorite languages. If you have experience with Java, picking up CIs is a breeze because of their syntactical similarities. CIs, pronounced C sharp, is based on C and C. Siage has also been used to develop apps for the Windows platform, specifically Windows 8 and 10. JavaScript JavaScript is the language of the web, used by over 90% of websites worldwide. It runs on the client side, making web pages interactive and dynamic. If you've ever used a website that does more than just display static information, like playing a video or updating content without refreshing the page, that's JavaScript at work. It's essential for front-end development and runs in every web browser. You can use Java for a variety of different projects, from coding Android smartphone apps to building complex desktop applications. If you've worked with Python or Ruby, you'll find some conceptual similarities in JavaScript, making it easier to pick up. APL, APL stands for a programming language. Pretty straightforward, right? APL is unique because it uses a lot of special symbols making it look almost like math notation. It's used mainly in scientific, engineering, and financial applications. If you love mathematics, APL might just be your new best friend. APL has a rich history, first developed in the 1960s and influencing many other languages. It has a dedicated and knowledgeable community with a wealth of resources available. APL is perfect for data analysis, scientific computing, and more. C++, believe it or not, the programming languages C++ were all the rage in the very late 20th century. Why? It's because C and C++ are both very low-level programming languages, offering blazing fast performance, which is why they were and are still being used to develop operating systems, file systems, and other system-level applications. As C and C++ both offer full access to the underlying hardware, they have been used to create a wide variety of applications and platforms, such as system applications, real-time systems, IoT, embedded systems, games, cloud, containers, and more. I remember feeling pretty intimidated by C++ at first, but once I got the hang of it, it was incredibly rewarding. C++ builds on C, so if you have experience with C, transitioning to C++ is a natural next step. If programming languages were cars, C++ would be a high-performance sports car. It's fast and efficient. Swift. Swift is Apple's own programming language that was released in 2014 as a replacement for its Objective-C programming language. Swift is fast, safe, and interactive. It's designed to work seamlessly with Apple's hardware and software, making it perfect for developing apps for iPhones, iPads, and Macs. Swift is used by top apps like Instagram, Uber, and LinkedIn. 
My cousin who works as an iOS developer loves how Swift makes his job easier and more enjoyable. If you've worked with languages like Python or Ruby, Swift's clean syntax will feel familiar and intuitive. PHP PHP is a server-side scripting language that's widely used for web development. It's the backbone of many popular content management systems like WordPress. If you're building dynamic websites that interact with databases, PHP is your friend. If you're familiar with JavaScript, understanding PHP will be simpler because both are used heavily in web development and share some common patterns. PHP is used by social media platforms like Facebook and Wikipedia. Being a server-side language just like Python or Perl are, PHP can do things such as creating login pages, photo galleries, discussion forums, and much more. Perl. Perl is a high-level scripting language that first appeared in 1987 and has since developed into a small family of two separate languages, Perl 5 and Perl 6. Perl is known for its text processing capabilities. It's often called the Swiss Army Chainsaw of scripting languages because it's powerful and flexible. Perl is widely used in bioinformatics, scientific computing and research due to its ability to handle large data sets. Perl pronounced as practical extraction and reporting language. If you need to do a lot of text manipulation or report generation, Perl can be incredibly useful. SQL, SQL means structured query language. SQL allows you to query data, extracting specific information from databases. It is used to manage and manipulate data in databases allowing you to store, retrieve, and manipulate data. SQL is a standardized language, making it compatible with various databases like MySQL, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. Businesses need people who can sift through the databases and help them draw conclusions from them. For example, data analysts at Amazon create demand forecasts before Christmas to prepare and prepack millions of items for customers who are likely to order them before the holidays.